Yo, what's going on, Sexy Samalender Squad? I just want to say before the video starts, every subscriber I get in the year 2022 equals 10 cents to charity. That means 10, 10 subscribers is $1. 100 subscribers, $10. You get it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, that, uh, that's basically that's basically what I'm doing in the year 2022. So I want to I want to give back to charity a bit because I you know I've always given back to charity as as much as I can, but now I want to get you guys involved in it too. I want you guys to to feel like when you sub, you're not just subbing to some dumbass who does memes. You're subbing to a genuine, uh, you know, you you're 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 giving to charity. You're giving to charity by subbing to me. And then don't unsub because then it doesn't count. You can unsub at the end of 2022 if you want because, you know, I like I've already given the money to charity at that point, but don't do not do it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is a custom game because as many of you guys know, I have a cough. I, I, I got the Delta variant of COVID. <coughs> I got the Delta variant of COVID and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't just stop is is the only thing it doesn't just stop it really just keeps 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 pushing until uh <clears throat> you have a cough that lasts the rest of your life it uh, obviously it's not gonna last, rest, last the rest of my life but it's gonna last a while um but i got deserter in smite because i was sipping my coffee and a cough came up and i coughed right into my coffee cup my coffee cuff my cough i coughed right into my coffee cup and sprayed coffee freaking everywhere. <laughs> so uh, it took a while to clean that up. And I was in a queue when that happened. And I forgot about my queue because I was cleaning up coffee. And I got deserter. So there you go. But as you guys know, we are doing the series. The Best God in Duel. Mage Edition. I'm going to split this one up into two different mages. Today, we are doing... Holy Jesus, my, my, uh, I mean, nothing changed for you guys, but my audio was so loud. <laughs> my computer restarted last night. I did not think my audio would be that loud. Holy crap. But we're splitting the mage part up into two different sections. Section one is going to be the best magical ADC in duo, which is obviously what I'm playing right now. And I consider it to be Oleron. Now here's, <coughs> there's four magical ADCs in duel. There's Freya, there's Oleron, there's Soul, and there's Kronos. And here's why I consider Oleron to be the best. Freya is very, very good, but she takes some time to get online. And her clear is not the best. You have to use most of her burst in order to clear, which is not ideal, obviously. Soul is very, very good. Has pretty decent clear, really good sustainability, um, and, and really good tower damage. The issue is that her alt is exclusively damage. And having an alt that only does damage is really not the best, right? Like, Oleron's alt is... I mean, it's second to none. It is just straight up the best. Oh, hello. That scared the crap out of me. Start a Warrior's Axe Blackthorn. Okay. I'm pretty sure you don't win this fight. But if you did, I would feel bad about it. Man, he got hella aggressive. <laughs> um, But yeah, so... That's why I don't think that... Uh, Freya or Soul is number one, and I took a lot of time. I genuinely did take a lot of time trying to, to pick which one I think is better, Kronos or Oleron. Kronos or Oleron? Kronos or Oleron? Which one and why? And the reason I picked Oleron is because Kronos, don't get me wrong, again, has a really good clear with his three and his one. Um, and it, like his late game is so so good and then you know chronos all it resets your hp and it gives you a second life resets your cooldowns it's very very strong and i was just thinking like what what is gonna change here what's gonna make oleron take this top spot over chronos he's got so much going for him and then i remembered <clears throat> Oleron not only has an ultimate that completely shifts the turn of any fight, which in my opinion might be slightly better. Like if we're scaling their alts on a scale of one to a hundred, I think Kronos alt is like a 95 
And Oleron Alt is like a 98. Like, there's almost nothing better than Oleron Alt in the game. Um, so Oleron takes the ult in, you know, that regard. Damage-wise, they're pretty similar. I mean, it's just an auto-attack mage. Obviously, Chrono's autos hit harder, but you have to use the two to do that. And then, um, <clears throat> what really threw it over the edge for me is Oleron can crit. He can crit. I mean, it's just, it's the only reason that he's number one, in my opinion. And... You know, Kronos and Oleron, they're so, so good. And in the matchup, Oleron versus Kronos, I actually think Oleron takes it. Believe it or not, I actually think Oleron beats Kronos. With the crits late game and the 40%... Uh, is it 40%? Yeah, the 40% uh, time slow on enemies. It's just so nuts. It's so good. And so that's why I chose Oleron. Now... Now that I, you know, uh, now I've explained why I've chosen my god. <clears throat> Let's get into the build. Now with Oleron, as I said before, you can crit. But in order to crit, you need the power. So you can't just build attack speed. You, you, I mean, technically you could build all the rings and you would still have some crit chance. But it wouldn't be enough crit chance to really be like, I'm feeling it now, Mr. Krabs type style. You know what I mean? So um, with Oleron, I would recommend going Telekines and Ring of Hecate. Obviously, you don't have to build them first. Um, I would start with Ring of Hecate. Okay. I don't think you kill me. I have lifesteal. And, yeah, you don't even have finished Blackthorn yet. So, you're not going to do that much to me. But, um, you're going to start with Ring of Hecate here. And then, probably after Ring of Hecate, you're going to go into some defense. Because you're not, you're not focused on winning the game in the first three minutes. You know, like, obviously, you can. Your tower push is just as good as souls. But, um... But you're not focused on that. Your focus is to get the late game, get the crits, and get unbeatable in a in a boxing fight, right? And um So yeah, you're gonna go into Ring of Hecate, and then you're gonna go into Breastplate. Now the reason you're going Breastplate instead of let's say Mid Guardian, Mystical Mail, or any of the hybrid items, is because you want a straight up defensive stat that gives you cooldown. Because Oleron's cooldowns are freaking massive. God, I sneeze so loud. Um, they're massive. They're very long cooldowns, and you need some cooldown reduction in order to make him ideal. Like in order to make him the best of the best, in order to really showcase just how good he is, you need some cooldown reduction online. Because the more you get online, you're two at the end of um, the buff phase. Like once you, please don't hit me in the tower. Ouch. Um, I'm not scared. I have lifesteal. Okay, can't hit autos. Can't hit autos. Doesn't matter. I'm nuts. Nice. Perfect. Um, but yeah. So, <clears throat> you want that breastplate so that your two, once you activate it, comes back up pretty much instantly. And you want to be throwing those ones to poke down your enemy as much as possible. As soon as you can. Just... Boom, 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 boom. You're going to want to chuck him down until you can all in him with your ult. And that's that's basically how you play the fight. You're throwing ones, you're throwing your two, and you're poking. So much poke uh, with Oleron <clears throat> until you can just be like, all right, I've had enough. Time to ult and this and this man's life and, and get ready for the next game. You know what I mean? So... That's why you want Breastplate. Yeah, just, just the cooldown and the poke that it gives you is insane. And the straight up defense of, of 65 protection is really good. Also, Oleron can get slightly mana hungry. So the mana from Breastplate is pretty nice. Um, because you're going to want to use your three to heal pretty much as much as you can. Whenever it's on cooldown, unless you plan on fighting soon. So <clears throat> that's that item. And then after Breastplate... In reality, I just like to go Telekines. I like to go Ring of Hecate and then Breastplate. So I got my Lifesteal. I got my Defense. And then I like to go into Telekines, which is my power. It's my damage. It's um, it's 110, I believe, power item. It might have been nerfed or changed slightly. Let me check. Could be wrong. It's a 100 power item. Um, I guess it got nerfed from 110. But it's a 100 power item, which is really good. That gives you on-hit effects. And because Oleron, fun fact... Oleron's ult breaks the attack speed cap. I know you guys didn't know that, but your self buff is 30% faster, which means 
you are doing 30% faster than 2.5 attack speed. I don't know what 30% of 2.5 is, but I'm sure somebody can do the math out there. And you're breaking the attack speed cap, basically going almost, I believe, almost 3.2 attack speed, which is just nuts. So that on-hit effect from Telekines is really going to carry the game for a while. And then... um. And then after Telekines, in reality, like, I just go anti-heal. I normally, I just go, like, Toxic Blade or I go Divine if uh, if I feel like my attack speed is already good enough. Which, normally, I like to actually go Toxic Blade instead of Divine because Telekines is only 25% and this is only 25%. You know, you're not getting the 30% buff from Demonic. You're not getting 30% from Shogun's as your defensive item. Unless you're fighting a mage, in which case you will be. Uh, you don't scare me. I am tanky. I don't want to ult yet. I want to wait till he ults. And now he's stuck in my, my little doom tower. Alright. Want to keep vision of him. Uh, I missed that. Okay. I'm just trying to poke him. Just trying to keep him annoyed. And like I said, I'm spamming my three. I am spamming that three. I do not want him to feel like he has an advantage over me. All right. He blinked out. Good blink. Good blink. <clears throat> but yeah. So, I mean, this is basically how you're going to play the fight. So, you're going to poke him down. If he all ends you, wait for his CC immune ability to go off cooldown and then just alt his ass. And then you win the fight for free. Um... <clears throat> But yeah, so I, my my next items are going to be Telekines and then probably Toxic Blade. And then after Toxic Blade, it's really up to whatever you want. You could go um, Chronos Pendant if you want to finish out the cooldown without waiting for 500 pot and blue buff. Or you could go into Rod of Tahuti to get more power in order to have more crit chance. Or you could go into uh, Bancrofts if they haven't gotten any anti-heal. You could go into Bancrofts and just really... Start hammering down and, and putting the pressure on him. Um, or you could go into like another defensive item, like um like a mid guardian, a mystical male, something like that, and just not want to take any damage. It's it's that's one of the reasons I love this character is because you have so many options when playing him. Like it, it, building him is so easy. It's always like Ring of Hecate. Defensive item, either Breastplate or Shoguns. Um, and then Telekines. And then after Telekines, you kind of just do whatever you want. You have all the damage you need. You have all the survivability you need. You have all the defense you need. You have all the cooldown you need. Like you're just ready. You don't have any pen. Keep that in mind. You don't have any pen. Pen is something that my build lacks with Oleron. If they need a lot of pen, and I, I guess I do in this game, which is a good thing I looked, I, I suppose. You could... Go instead of Toxic Blade, you could go Demonic. Now I'm still gonna go Telekines here instead of Demonic. Um, and then I'm gonna go into a demonic afterwards, and I'm gonna skip the to I'm gonna skip the Toxic Blade instead of skipping the, the Telekines. You can either you you could skip either in reality. I think they're they're both uh I did not mean to do that. They're both good options. Telekines or demonic in this scenario, but <clears throat> either way, it doesn't matter too much. And, um, and yeah, so, I mean, that's the build. That's why I picked Oleron. Now, let's get into the leveling of the abilities. Uh, I think this one kind of speaks for itself. I mean, I, I doubt very many people have leveled, leveled Oleron wrong. Basically, you just level the damage abilities. You level the one, and then you level the two, and then you level the three, and you put a point in your alt whenever you can. And that's what that is. That, that's literally all it is. It's super um uh, it's super easy to play all around and you know what i never i never really put that point in the chronos versus all around match uh where like ease of character use i never really added that in like as a power point in or as a point in the player's power in like what god is better or what god is worse but Oleron is super easy to play. His build builds himself. You know, his um, his abilities level themselves, basically. I mean, like, you just do what does damage, which is, like, 
like everyone has an ape brain and and Oleron equals ape brain. <laughs> like you you really don't even have to play the game. You just go on default mode. You build the items you think you should build and then you win the game by leveling, you know, whatever you want to. Oh, uh, that's my blue buff. Thank you. He is incredibly tanky with the runic shield and bulwark, so I am going to wait for that demonic get online before I really try to fight him unless he does this <laughs> but yeah all right so that's Phoenix down and I'm feeling pretty good uh I am 300 gold away from demonic by the way starter items you pretty much always go mannequins I mean you could go Boomba's hammer you could go warrior's axe you could go sands of time conduit but like the best one, in my opinion, will always be Mannequins because you're auto-attacking so much with this character that Mannequins does just... It just does so much damage for you. Like, Mannequins in that fight alone did 340 damage, which is crazy. It's just crazy. All right. So tanky. However, with my crits, I am winning the fight. With my crits and my lifesteal... I'm able to still win the fight. And I'm going to go get Demonic here. Uh, he shouldn't be able to beat me to the red buff. Shouldn't. Yeah, he's not. He's out of his tower. Or his Titan, I guess, technically. So we'll grab red here. And um, yeah, now when I activate my two, I'll get a 40% attack speed boost, which should throw me up to 2.5 attack speed. It does. And... Um, so now I'm maxed attack speed. So when I alt, my attack speed will break the attack speed cap. I will be doing 30% uh, pen on him and extra damage per auto. Not to mention the mannequins with a 33% crit chance. And I still have an item slot left. It's uh, it's it's pretty crazy. This this build, like I said, builds itself. And goddamn, does it do a lot for building itself? You know, like you're doing so much. That's going to kill. It didn't kill. Cringe. Whatever. Um, and yeah, that, that's basically... That's why I picked Oleron. That's how I build Oleron. And that's how I level Oleron. And that's how I fight with Oleron. I mean, like, it, it's all just... It's so simple. It's so simple. It, it does... It, it plays itself. And yet... It's the best ADC in duel. Best magical ADC in duel. It's crazy. It's crazy. It really is. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.